hi everyone today in this video let us discuss about the chemistry of antifolates antifolates can be classified into two types like sulfonamides as well as the dihydrofolate reductase inhibitors even sulfonamides are considered as type 1 antifolates but still the dihydrofolate reductase inhibitors are the main category of drugs which are considered as antifolates so today in this video let us discuss about the chemistry of these dihydrofolate reductase inhibitors so what are the different types of uh, dihydrofolate reductase inhibitors we know one of the drug trimethoprim similarly another drug is the pyrimethamine and third drug is the methotrexate all these three drugs are the dihydrofolate reductase inhibitors but their selectivity is somewhat different trimethoprim is selective for the bacterial cells so it is used as antibacterial Pyrimethamine is selective for the protozoal cells, so it is used as anti-protozoal or anti-malarial. And methotrexate is selective for the mammalian cells, so it is an anti-cancer agent. Even these drugs show some difference in their selectivity, but still they are having some structural similarity. And all of these drugs are having a common structural moiety represented like this. What is this structure? So this is the pyrimidine ring system. We can start the numbering here. 1, 2, 3, 4. So it is a... 2,4 diaminopyrimidine. This 2,4 diaminopyrimidine is present in, in all these three structures with a small modification in the methotrexate. So, this 2,4 diaminopyrimidine ring is responsible for the binding of these drugs with the dihydrofolate reductase enzyme, which is responsible for inhibition of the enzymatic activity. So, this is the structure of the first drug, trimethoprim. Here it is having the trimethoxy groups, so that's why it's having the name trimetho. And prim indicates they hang the pyrimidine nucleus. So here the pyrimidine is the main nucleus. Let us start the numbering. This is 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So it is a 2, 4 diaminopyrimidine with a side chain at the 5th position. Let us write the IUPAC name of this compound. So suffix is nothing but the pyrimidine 2, 4 diamine. Even we commonly call as 2, 4 diamino. But amine group is the principal function group. So it should be indicated by the suffix so it becomes pyrimidine 2,4 diamine this pyrimidine 2,4 diamine is attached with a side chain at the fifth position and the simple side chain there is the methyl group so we can write it as 5 methyl so 5 methyl pyrimidine 2,4 diamine but this methyl group is attached with a phenyl ring which is having the further attachments so let us give the numbering to this phenyl ring so this is 1 because we have to start the numbering from the point of attachment then 2, 3, 4, 5. Now this phenyl group is having the methoxy groups at the 3rd, 4th and 5th positions. So we can fill the gap like 3, 4, 5 trimethoxy phenyl. So this 3, 4, 5 trimethoxy phenyl group is attached to the methyl group at the 5th position of pyrimidine 2, 4 diamine ring. So that is the complete name of the trimethoprim. It is 5-345 trimethoxyphenyl methyl pyrimidine 2,4 diamine. Next one is the pyrimethamine. Pyrimethamine is used as an anti-malarial agent. And again, you, here you can observe the 2,4 diamine of pyrimidine ring. We can start the numbering 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So now it is having the two side chains at the 5th and 6th positions. Again, we can write the name of the pyrimethamine with the same suffix pyrimidine 2,4 diamine. And this pyrimidine 2,4 diamine is having the fifth position, one of the side chain that is nothing but the phenyl ring attached with a chlorine at the fourth position. So it is a 5 4 chlorophenyl or para chlorophenyl. And sixth position is having the two carbon chain that is a ethyl. So 6 ethyl. So 5-4 chlorophenyl 6 ethyl pyrimidine 2,4 diamine is nothing but the pyrimethamine. And within the antimalarials, we can observe another type of drug which is not a 2,4 diamine of pyrimidine but still acts by same mechanism. This drug is nothing but the proguanil. Proguanil is again the dihydrofolate reductase inhibitor. But this is not a active drug. This is a prodrug. And proguan is chemically biguanide, which can be modified and undergo the cyclization such that it is going to produce a active metabolite. How it is undergoing the cyclization? So it can undergo a cyclization by reaction between this carbon and amine group. Then it produces a metabolite like this. You can see that 
by interaction of this carbon with the amine group the ring is going to be closed and a six member ring system is going to be formed and this structure because it's having a cyclic nature it is called as cycloguanyl the cycloguanyl is the active metabolite of the proguanyl but here it is not a 2,4 diaminopyrimidine it is somewhat modified you can observe somewhat 2,4 diaminopyrimidine structure is there with extra nitrogen and because of extra nitrogen now the ring becomes the triazine so it's somewhat saturated so it's a dihydrotriazine ring system is present in the cycloguanyl but as the cycloguanyl is again having some similar structural similarity with the 2,4 diaminopyrimidines, this drug can also inhibit the dihydrofolate reductase enzyme. Therefore, it can also be used as anti-malarial agent. Next one is the methotrexate. Methotrexate is having the last structure, but it can be split it into three. So one is having the carboxylic acid moiety. So this is one, two, three, four, five. So this is a glutaric acid which is attached with an amino group at the second position. So this is nothing but the glutamic acid. So methotrexate is having the glutamic acid on one terminal which is attached to the para amino benzoyl moiety which is finally attached to a ring system that is nothing but the pteridine ring system. This pteridine is the modified form of the 2,4 diamino pyrimidine ring system. Now let us write the name of this methotrexate. Since we have to give the preference to the carboxylic acid, now the suffix of this name becomes the pentane dioic acid. So methotrexate can be written as pentane dioic acid, which is having an amino group at the second position. So 2 amino. So 2 amino pentane dioic acid, which is nothing but the glutamic acid. Now to this 2 amino pentane dioic acid, benzoyl group is attached. So we can write it as benzoyl. And to this benzoyl at the fourth position methyl amino group is present so we can write 4 dash methyl amino. Now to this methyl amino group the pteridine ring system is attached. So let us start the numbering to this pteridine ring system. This is 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 and 6. This is the numbering in the pteridine ring system. So again you can observe it is having the amino group at the second and fourth positions and a side chain is attached at the sixth position. So this is a 2,4 diamino pteridine 6 i which is attached to the methyl group. So we can fill in this gap. So this is nothing but 2,4 diamino pteridine 6 i methyl. So that is the complete name of the methotrexate. In this way, you can see the structures of the trimethoprim, pyrimethamine and methotrexate. You can observe the structural similarity. All of these structures are having the 2,4 diamino pyrimidine moiety. But in the methotrexate, this 2,4 diamino pyrimidine moiety is going to be modified to produce a pteridine ring system. And since all these drugs are having this 2,4 diamino pyrimidine moiety, they produce a pseudo reversible binding to the dihydrofolate reductase enzyme. That means they inhibit the enzymatic activity by strongly binding to the active sites of the enzyme. In this way, antifolates are going to inhibit the dihydrofolate reductase enzyme mainly because of 2,4 diamino pyrimidine moiety. So that's about the chemistry of this antifolates. Hope you have enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel, share this video with your friends, post your comments in the comment box. Thank you for watching this video.